Are you an executive who has reached the ceiling in your current job, who has little time to dedicate to your career transition and need quick and practical advice? This is Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition, a weekly podcast providing you focused, actionable advice, insights, and powerful tips. With your career strategist guru, Isabelita Castillo. Hello. Welcome back to Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition. I'm Isabelita Castillo. I'm here today to tell you a little bit more and demystify the unpublished market, the unpublished jobs, or many times called as the hidden jobs. So what does that mean and how can you actually you know, reach out to those jobs and unveil them and basically apply for it and get the job. So here we go, guys. The very first thing I wanted to know, unpublished jobs literally means the jobs are not posted online. And of course, this usually is very much referred to executive roles. You rarely see a chief executive officer position um, posted online because this does not happen so much for executives, so, but they exist. There are many companies out there who are actually looking for those executives. So that's why they hire the headhunting firms to headhunt those guys. So knowing that, that there is, uh, how can you find out? Well, you need to network a lot. The best way to reach out to the unpublished jobs or the hidden jobs is network with people that are in the industry, uh, even people that are not in the industry. So friends, neighbors, uh, previous uh, colleagues from previous companies, you don't know where they are now. Maybe they are working right where you want to go. So list everybody, start reaching out to those people and basically let them know. Let them know that you're out there. Let them know that, you know, you are actually considering a career transition and you'd love to have their insights, anything they can share and information that they know. People usually are very much looking to help, believe it or not. Just, just They just don't know you need help. So here we go. Become that politician. Talk to everybody. At least five people per week that you're going to talk to in network. However, I cannot emphasize that enough. Texting, WhatsApping, it loses the entire uh, flavor of this thing. You want to talk to people. You want to meet people face to face. I understand those days. Everybody or oh, a lot of people are based remote. So you can just go and invite for a coffee. However, you can invite for a Zoom call, for a Google Meet, for Teams. Please do so and say, John, I thought about you. Saw you on LinkedIn today. Hey, time to catch up. I have some things I want to ask you. I want to catch your brain on a topic. When are you available for a chat in the next few days? You do not anticipate the topic. And here you go. John could be that previous colleague of yours. It doesn't need to be anybody too senior. Anybody who has the information, the intel, and was willing to facilitate that transition by simple an introduction or even, who knows, taking your CV to their HR, they don't need to be senior at all. So please dismissify that concept that the person you're going to talk to needs to be senior decision maker. Not, not necessarily. I know lots of stories where it was never through the direct decision maker. So here we go, networking. The next thing you can do, identify those companies with potentials. So identify if you are in the automotive sector, identify all the automotive companies, start identifying them on LinkedIn. And guess what? Code, code messaging if you have nothing to, nobody you can leverage from an introduction. You know, they might be looking for you. But again, when if you check my other videos, when we talk about what is an interesting value proposition you have to offer. So make sure when you send a message, don't say I'm looking for a job. Can you help? No, that's not the idea. So if you're reaching out to decision makers, to other executives, you know, highlight something you have noticed in their profile, something you have noticed what their company are doing, and basically, you know, showcase your interest in that uh, information, in that topic, in that uh, whatever accomplishments, whatever 
uh, mergers, network projects they are dealing with, causes they are dealing with, and say it would be very interesting to network and exchange insights about it if you're talking to decision makers. If you're talking to the HR talent acquisition in-house, of course, you're going to have to go to the point. Okay, because there is no uh, networking in that case, they will never understand or believe you want to network if they are talent acquisition or HR. The next thing is, now if you have built already a network on LinkedIn, if not, keep building, keep building, keep building, keep adding people to your network, people in the industry, headhunters, cover your industry. And when you have, why you keep building and increasing a network on LinkedIn, make sure to showcase your expertise and how do you do that write an article post something reshare if you don't want to write yourself reshare something you saw from uh, any kind of well established let's say forbes published something and you can reshare that and make your comments very interesting a uh, post by forbes by this person you can refer to the name of some person i thought to share with my network in other words you want to keep that visibility you have already built your network how they're going to remember you that goes back to that previous episode make sure people keep remembering you the next thing is remember uh, professional organizations uh, join professional organizations related to your industry and attend those conferences and events where you can meet others in your field and get some job search assistance there are several companies out there that can help you navigate the unpublished and also the published job market. So please make sure to reach out and get some help. Overall, stay very positive. You know, it, it is life is a process. Job search is a process. You never know the destination when you're going to reach there. It could be just on the corner. What matters is that you keep networking putting yourself out there and keep increasing your chances of land the next job. Here we go, guys. That's it for today. I hope you had some fun. I hope that's going to help you take some actions right now. If there is any specifics of this topic or any others you'd like me to cover, please reach out. Reach out on LinkedIn. Let's have a chat. Be the life creator. Create the reality you wish to see in your life. And until next time, stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Never miss an episode. Never miss an opportunity. Follow Happy Monday Executives with Isabelita Castillo from any of your favorite podcast platforms. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay blessed.